Good afternoon, D&D, TikTok, and beyond, and welcome to Roll for Sandwich, the series where I let fate decide my lunch. Let's go. Today, I'm going to be using these pastel rainbow dice that were sent in by a viewer. Thanks. Let's get started with our roll for bread. One, Fruit Loops cookie. I recently got a box of cookies from Schmackery's in New York City, and one of their offerings this month was their cereal killer cookie, and I thought it would make a fun addition to the roll list. Now, whether it will make a fun sandwich or not is up to the dice. We'll see. Next up, let's roll for Maine. Oh, we're off to a bad... Ten, Dino Nuggies. Cookies oh, for bread and now dinosaur shaped no. chicken nuggets. Oh, no. Dude, this, this is like a six-year-old has to babysit himself and is like, what are you having for dinner tonight? I want a cookie sandwich with Dino Nuggies. Father must be in control of the dice today. Yeah. I think I got one of each dinosaur shape on here to make sure that I cover all my bases. And wow, they kind of fit together like a little puzzle. All right, next up, let's roll for cheese. Four, provolone. Is a provolone what you get when you want to go to college at Brigham Young? <laughs> Sorry, that was terrible even for me. Let's roll some roughage. Three apple and nine apricot. All right, so we rolled two fruits to go with our Fruit Loop cookies. These Granny Smith apples will provide a little bit of crunch and a little apple's tartness. Apple's not bad. So I don't but mind the that. I'm not the biggest fan of is... apricot. I don't dislike them, but I don't often seek them out. My toddler actually made me buy these and then decided that she didn't want to eat any of them. So now they're on the show. Yeah, I wouldn't want to We've eat them. We've already got a really sweet sandwich going on. So this is either best case scenario or it's going to be overkill. I think this one's really up to the wild magic and sauce, maybe more than usual. And speaking of wild magic, let's roll it. Seven, sandwich sprinkle. Sandwich sprinkle is an herb and spice blend that goes well on a variety of sandwiches. Not sure if this sandwich is part of that variety or not. Um. I guess we'll see. And last but not least, it's the D20 sauce roll. Here we go. 12, QB mayo. All oh, right, interesting. Well, no. we're definitely pulling things in a more savory direction with the sandwich sprinkle followed by the mayo. Maybe that'll balance the sweetness a little bit for us. Let's go ahead and get our sandwich put together here. Oh, no. Get our toothpicks in to hold it together. If we can. Oh, boy. Okay. And let's go ahead and get it cut in half. Oh, this is... Uh-oh. Yep. Uh oh Okay. Uh-oh. Yeah, this is not structurally holding together. All right, well, let's go ahead and check oh out my that God. tumbling cross-section. It's falling apart. Oof. Well, it's colorful, if a little unstable, but we're going to do our best here no matter what. All right, let's give it a taste. You know, I'm kind of conflicted on this one. It's very sweet, but those savory elements are helping a little bit. But it's falling apart and not really a fun dining experience. Probably not going to make a sandwich on cookies again anytime soon. This one's a straight seven, and I'm going to call it the Cretaceous Cookie Crumble. I hope you all have a great weekend, and I'll see you on Monday. How the f*** did that get a seven? How does that get a seven? I think you, I think you meant a four, my guy. Oh my Good afternoon, god, D dude. TikTok and beyond, and welcome to Roll for Sandwich, the series where I let fate decide my lunch. Let's go. Today, I'm going to be using these matte black dice that I bought for myself. Thanks, me. Let's get started with our roll for bread. Three, wheat bread. Fun fact, you can only call wheat bread whole wheat bread if it comes from the whole region of France. What? Next up, let's roll for Maine. No way that's true. Is that true? 11, roll 2d12. All right, double mains. Two tuna and three ham and cheese loaf. Of all the various fish yeah, that true. are out there, yeah, tuna agree. is probably the one I have the least problem with. And it's actually my favorite fish when it comes to sushi. I have no such attachment to this ham and cheese loaf. Its appearance Ew. on the show a few episodes ago was my first time trying it. It's not my favorite, but it definitely looks worse than it tastes. Ew. All right, next up, let's roll for our cheese. Ew. Five fresh mozzarella. Well, it's a bummer that we're not pairing this fresh mozzarella with a better main. All right, I was already fighting all you guys 900 versus 1 anyways, so I'm in to go again. Fresh, fresh mozzarella is so f***ing overrated. I'm just, I'm just going to say it. Regular mozzarella out of a shredded bag tastes the same, and I don't want to deal with mozzarella in water. I don't want to deal with it in the water. It's kind of gross, you know? Like, the dried up normal mozzarella tastes just as good, if not better. I don't want to fish it out of the water, have to... Go, take it out dripples everywhere it's half wet and then you're either gonna like dry it a little or start cutting it off and it's like dude texture of like the the kind of just sitting it just feels like soggy cheese and it's just gross it's just gross i'd rather have dried out mozzarella it tastes a million times 
better. Actually, sorry, it tastes the same. The difference is the texture, and I like it better. That being said, it's pretty mild, so I don't think it will cause too much of an issue here. It will probably mostly get drowned out. Next up, let's roll for our roughage. Give us a pull. Two no. cucumber and five tomato. All right, a pretty innocuous roughage roll. We'll get a little crunch from the cucumber. I wish it were pickles instead. That would pair a little bit better, but I don't get to choose. The tomato will be nice because it'll bring in a little bit of acid, give us a little bit of a different flavor. Uh, you know, I guess I should be thankful for a pretty normal roughage after where we started today. All right, next let's roll Wild Magic. 19, this is the way. We finally rolled it. What? This roll actually adds a step after the sauce roll. And it's putting our sandwich in this Mandalorian sandwich press. What? I'm a little worried our sandwich is going to be too big to actually fit in this though. But you know, this is the way. All right, and last but not least, it's our D20 sauce roll. Eight comeback sauce. I accidentally forgot to film myself applying the sauce, but don't worry, I've been able to recreate it using the power of CGI. I don't think you'll be able to tell it's the comeback difference. comeback sauce. All right, let's get our sandwich on here. Unfortunately, I don't think we're gonna get a great logo because the bread's already been toasted. But I guess we'll see what we end up with. All right, it's been some time. We've had some leakage. Oh, Cucumber, tomato, boy. and fresh mozzarella all have a lot of moisture, so that may be hurting us here. Let's get our toothpicks in to hold it together. That's Let's get our sandwich cut in half. Definitely a sandwich. Can we get a cheese pull? Eh, not really. All the cheese came out the back. Well, here's the cross section. Well, the force moves in mysterious ways, and today it sort of threw us for a loop here. Most of this cheese <laughs> came right out the back. But we'll do our best with what we got. Let's give it a taste. Huh. Yeah, I don't know. It's very tuna forward. The cheese is nice, but other than that, it really is just overwhelmingly tuna flavored in not a great way. I'm going to go ahead and give this one a 5.2 and I'm going to call it This Ain't The Way. Thanks this for hanging out. I'll see you on Wednesday. Way. Good afternoon. That's funny, actually. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I don't know about that Good one. That one. That was probably, that was the one for me that was like, ah, you know, the cheese looked nice, but you're kind of f***ing to start with the tuna. Indeed, TikTok and beyond, and welcome to Roll for Sandwich, the series where I let fate decide. Wait, you said the cookie sandwich is better. Wait, you're How right. Much? Let's yeah, go. I don't know about that one. Today, I'm going to be using these copper colored metal dice with blue inclusions that were sent in by That's a That's like the new standard, right? Let's get rolling. Seven is First the, co up, the cookie sandwich. Better Six, or worse brioche. than this cookie sandwich. Today, for our random bread vamping, hi to everyone named Matt, Savannah, and... Spinkle. All right, let's roll for me. Spinkle? One. Paste Mageddon. Well, what? we're finishing off all these random UK meat oh, pastes like ripping no. off a band aid, doing it all at once. Luckily, I only have two left. This beef paste, which I've heard is the best. Dude, one. what's wrong and with this... you, UK pasters? Oh. Sardine. Dude, everything and doesn't, need, every fucking My meat doesn't need to be a paste. sardines on the show was not good. Hopefully the tomato and even the beef will help this not oh, be this so is, this sarg is right from the start. Mm -hmm. All right, next up, let's roll for cheese. Three, Munster. Well, unfortunately, oh, no. I only have one slice of Munster cheese left, so I can't even use my strategy of attempting to cover up bad flavors oh, with no. extra cheese. All right, let's roll roughage. Three, apple and eight, green onion. The apple I have is also green. It's a Granny Smith. We'll add a little crunch, a little sweetness, a little sourness. Definitely not the roughage I was hoping for with this particular combination. The green onions are left over from dinner a last night. meal so could mean many things, but that paste sandwich. Get them on here. Depression. They're not gonna do a whole lot, I don't think. Might taste okay with the beef. Oh no! Next up, let's roll Wild Magic. That's literally a cat Six. sandwich. Big bad ketchup. Talk about kicking a man while he's down. If you don't know what this is, this is a mixture of 10 different ketchups that I created earlier this season for some reason. And here I know somebody's gonna tell me I didn't use enough, so. All right, and last but not least, it's the D20 sauce roll. 10, Branston Pickle. Okay, I'm a fan of Branston Pickle, but it's just uncalled for here. Wait, what's, like the what was the meme? What's the lost meme? The lines? I don't understand. And here I know somebody's going to tell me I didn't use enough, so. All right, and last but not least, it's the D20 sauce roll. 10, Branston Pickle. Okay, I'm a fan of Branston Pickle, but it's just uncalled for here. Like, oh, the two different no. meat tastes are bad enough, but then this you've got is the like a typical It's just too much. I'm cruising into UK Flavortown and someone sandwich. cut the break oh, Let's get our sandwich man. cut in half here. 
Well, let's take Are a look at that cross section. This is lunchtime. Oh. Okay. Well, I definitely wore the right shirt today. Let's get it over with. Oof. Let's taste it. Oh, man. That is, yep. Strong, strong sardine taste. This is supposedly cut with tomato. The beef paste is doing nothing. And that ketchup monstrosity is... It's not good. Oh, this poor guy. This one is guy. a struggle. Victory would be hollow without the chance of defeat. And today, I took that defeat full on the chin. It's a zero, and I'm going to call it the Revenge of King George III. I'm going to go eat something better than this. Have a good one. Oh, my God. That was gross, dude. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that had all the, all the makings of a terrible sandwich. Pace everywhere and... Oh shit, he's done. Wait, Good that was the last one. D &D Wait, that was the last one.